Okay, now it's time uh, to discuss about a very important uh, kind of a tree called binary tree. Okay, so what is a binary tree that we have at most two children? That means you can have a zero, one, or two children. So uh, the maximum limit here is the two. So and each node is labeled either the left child or the right child. So we can have a recursive definition here as well. Uh, so a binary can be empty. That means we can got to have a no node or it may consider one node and that we call it as a root node and if it has say it may have a one child here so it's again a binary tree because it has a one child and but if it has two child then it's again a binary tree okay but we can't have more than two say for example i'm having three childs here so this is not a binary so we can't have the third child okay so simply we don't have and we may have the same situation with every node now okay you can have a situation like this now you can have on the left of this called the left subtree and the right subtree and they are having the same property as we uh, saw in the in case of a root so this is uh, what a binary tree is all about so so we if we have uh, this thing this is a binary tree this guy is a binary tree even this guy is a binary tree because we have one attached to it even if we say right scale, this is a, uh, called left scale, it's called right scale trees. And left scale, right scale, they are the binary trees. And if we talk about this guy, this is again a binary tree. This is again a binary tree. And if you don't uh, want to have a binary tree, then it may, may have the three, uh, the children, that is not a binary tree because it exceeds the two. Or they may have some kind of links, okay? double links or they may have a link from this to this then it's not a you know binary tree or even it's not a tree at all okay um, so anything which has a zero one or two degree okay that means um, at most we can have a two nodes attached to a particular node then we say hey this is a binary tree now let's try to see uh, what kind of types of binary tree we have. So we say types of binary tree. Okay. So the first one is uh, which we just talked is a rooted binary tree, uh, which has a root node and every node has at most two children. This is what we are just talked about. Okay. The second one is a full binary tree. Before uh, the, uh, we discuss the this this thing, there is a you know the the tree terminology is not well standardized it because it varies in literature. If you see Tannenbaum or you see other books, uh, they try to uh, they write into different names for the same thing. So I will try to summarize all those um, books and try to give you one uh, you know look to it. Okay. <coughs> now number next is our full binary tree. Okay. The full binary tree, uh, some books refer to as a proper binary tree or plain binary tree, and some books write it as a strict binary tree, uh, okay, uh, or, or even some uh, uh, a strictly binary tree actually, strictly binary tree, or some uh, call it as a two tree. So if you are referring to a full binary tree or strictly binary tree or two tree or a proper binary tree or a plain binary tree, different books write it in a different way okay it is something which has removed the one from it that means if, if you see the rooted binary tree, you know this guy is a rooted binary tree. but this is not a full or strictly or proper or plain or two tree why because it has a degree of one so we can have zero or two children say for example this guy um, say this is a this is B this is C C got a D and E okay and now uh, D got F and G now what about this if you see any every node this node I got a two you no know, children okay uh, what about this guy this has got no children so zero so it's got two it's got zero what about this is two two zero 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 so we have either the zero or the two children this is something called a strictly binary tree or two tree or whatever you call it okay or full binary tree now an important uh, thing here is that if we have a strictly binary tree um, 
and we have n leaves okay how many leaves we have here we have here one two three and four so leaves are here four so n is four here right so if we have uh, n leaves okay uh, then the tree will have two n minus one nodes okay uh, what so n is say four four into two is eight minus one so we've got a seven nodes in total so see one two three four five six seven so this is uh, the property with the full binary tree that if you got a n leaves then total nodes you have equals to 2n minus 1 so we should remember this thing now if you look at what is called as a perfect binary tree uh, in which all the internal nodes have this children and all leaves have the same depth or same level what you see is that we have for example this guy and then we got these two here and these two here for example this is the full as well as perfect okay uh, it's a binary tree in which all interior nodes have two children so you see interior nodes are this and this they are two children and all leaves have the same depth or same level and if you go to the leaves they are on the same uh, level okay so this is what's called the perfect binary tree but some authors uh, write it as a complete binary tree okay now uh, we may have what's called as an almost uh, uh, an almost complete binary tree or nearly complete binary tree this is uh, where what we have is we have a nodes uh, for example this guy then we got a couple of here this has got a couple of here then <clears throat> the last uh, level where we have leaves maybe a left just right if we have two we can have here if we have three we can have here or we have this guy like this so it's some uh, nodes are missing if something is missing that's on a right of the last level okay it's a left justified so this kind of a tree where the it's filled up to the uh, la, last but one and the last is uh, the leaves level is left just justified okay and uh, <clears throat> some authors call this perfectly a uh, perfect binary tree and this one as a complete binary tree but some authors call it uh, as an almost complete binary tree and or nearly complete binary tree right this guy this is the definition i forgot to keep it in a bold okay and this they prefer to call it as a perfectly uh, binary tree okay so some some call it perfect some call it complete and uh, some authors call this one as a complete and this one as a perfect so this is uh, no no weird terminology but you don't worry about it you uh, may take up this um, uh, thing what I have put in that the perfect or complete if there's a perfect and complete that means all leaves are on the same level and if it is a almost complete or nearly complete binary tree then the last uh, level is left justified and there's something missing out here if you fill up everything it becomes a perfect binary tree okay now if you look at this uh, kind of a tree this is full why is it full because we got either the zero or the two uh, children attached to the particular node okay but it's not complete because leaves are not at the same level okay now if we take this as an example let me okay this one what about this one is this a full no this is not a full because here we got a one uh, node attached to this but is this a complete well we can say yeah this is an almost complete binary tree okay uh, we can't say it's complete because if we say uh, no this terminology you know perfect versus uh, and is same as a complete okay and this guy is an almost complete okay so this is an almost complete tree but not uh, the full now what about this one okay is this full uh, this is not full because we got a one degree is this a complete or almost complete no not at all because it's going to write just fine and um, so it's not a it's a, because it, it, something is missing on the left not on the right so we should have missed the missing on the right and left should be you know sort of a complete so it's not even an almost complete tree okay
now what about uh, this one okay now here this is having a 2 0 or 2 degrees so this is gonna be our full binary tree and this is also the complete binary tree okay or what do you call it a perfect binary tree okay so if you want to make this as a complete binary tree how we'll do that you can add up a node here right so we got one two three four five six seven so in a complete binary tree we have uh, two to the power d leaves okay uh, so for example got a zero one two so two is the depth of this leaf so what how many leaves we have two to the power two that is four that is four leaves and how many internal nodes we have is uh, 2 to the power d minus 1 so this is number of leaves total number of leaves we have in a complete binary tree and this is total number of internal nodes uh, internal no what do you internal nodes means nodes are other than the leaves so we have here so for example three uh, nodes they are internal so how is that going to be 2 raised power d minus 1 okay um, so 2 raised power 2 is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so we got 3 internal nodes in this case and total nodes internal plus the leaves is equal to 2 raised power d plus 1 and minus 1 so d depth is here 2 so 2 raised power that's going to be 2 raised power 2 plus 1 minus 1 that's going to 2 plus 1 is 3 2, 2, 2 to the power 3 minus 1 2 to the power 3 is 8 minus 1 is equal to 7 so we got total 7 nodes Four as leaves three as internal that is seven nodes now if you want to calculate the depth so we want to find you know we want to calculate depth of a perfect binary tree or what it calls a complete binary tree okay we want to find the depth and we know we have number of nodes is n uh, so by that we know total number of nodes n is going to be 2 to the power d minus uh, sorry plus 1 minus 1 right so how we uh, do here before that we'll say here like this if we say 2 to the power 3 equals to 8 okay so in other words we can say uh, that 3 is equal to log to the power 2 8 so we apply it here before that we just uh, shift this minus 1 to this side this becomes n uh, plus 1 equals 2 to the power d plus 1 so in other words, we can say log of n plus 1 is equal to d plus 1 to the base 2, log to the base 2 of n uh, plus 1 is equal to d plus 1, right? So from this, you can now see what is d. So we can say then d equals to, if you want to say depth equals to uh, log to the base 2 n plus 1 and this one will go on this side so it becomes minus one okay now for example your n equals to this much hundred thousand okay or one lakh so we will say log to the base 2 n plus 1 that is gonna be this one and add 1 to it okay so if you see here uh, if we see 2 to the power 20 that is going to be around 1048576 and 2 to the power 90 is lesser than 10 uh, 1 lakh so that means uh, this log to the base 2 uh, this is around 20 uh, even lesser than 20 because 20 comes to be this, this guy okay so we can say our depth is gonna be uh, 20 levels deep right so I'm just uh, approximating it let's start, try our hands on uh, many more examples on uh, the problems which come uh, for the binary trees okay we will see them uh, in our next lecture uh, so this is typically the end